This is Raider News Update with Bianca Di Maria and Jasmine Charles with the news, Tyler Hubbard with Arts and Entertainment, and Jody Cornwell with sports. And now, from Studio B at Scotch Plains Fanwood High School, Bianca Di Maria and Jasmine Welcome Charles. Welcome to the Fury 4 5 edition of Raider News Update. I'm Bianca Di Maria. And I'm Jasmine Charles. And now let's go to sports predictions with Matt and Elijah. Hi, this is Matt McGowan. And Elijah Fields. And we're back with sports predictions. So, in 1980, the U.S. beat Soviet Russia in hockey, and I'm asking if they can come back from that this year and win again. So, what do you think, Logan? Uh, I don't believe they can because we have a weak offensive and defensive lines and that we just can't do it. Our goalie is subpar to par, and he can't do it. Most likely, Russia or Canada is going to get gold and silver, and Finland or uh, Slovakia and Sweden might get bronze. Hey, I'm here with Eric. Who do you think is um, going to win the gold medal for men's hockey? Well, uh, right now Canada has the favorite, but uh, I think Sweden's going to pull through and uh, end the gold this year. Hey, I'm here with Josh. Who do you think is going to win the gold medal for hockey? USA. Why? Because we USA. We the best. We out here. We're here with our last sports prediction. I'm here with Carlito. So, do you think the U.S. can come back and win another gold medal? Yes, they can. How come? Because the United States. Missouri defense player Michael Sam told New York Times and ESPN that he is gay. The 2014 NFL Draft prospects plans to become the first openly gay player in the NFL. NFL media analyst Daniel Jeremiah said in eight years in the draft rooms the subject has never come up. It was all about putting the best 53 players on the field. With debates circling around whether or not he should be drafted to play, this final decision will be made on May 8th through May 10th. China is the world's largest market for ivory, and in the past few years, an explosion in demand has fed a vast illegal trade that's threatening to wipe out Africa's remaining elephants. Scientists estimate that tens of thousands of elephants are being killed each year for their ivory, which sells for more than $1,000 a pound on the black market. The only way to save the African elephant, conservationists say, is to outlaw the sale of ivory entirely. If China were to destroy the remainder of its ivory stocks and lead the world by committing not to buying ivory in the future, it would have a positive impact on the survival of African elephants. Recently, a new study on teen health has revealed that the stress level of teenagers have rapidly increased being higher than those of adults. Some of the findings included that 83% of teens said that the school was a significant source of stress. About 60% of teens said that having to manage too many activities was a stressor. 40% of teens reported feeling irritable or angry, and 36% reported feeling nervous or anxious. While there is no definite cure for these high stress levels, exercise has proven to aid in the reduction of stress in teenagers. However, the majority of teens instead turn to more sedentary acts to help cope. This includes going online or watching television. With the increased amount of pressure on today's youth and competition among them, it is more important than ever to find a solution to help this growing epidemic. And now let's go to Arts and Entertainment with Tyler. Thanks, Bianca. The top five songs of this week are number five, Let Her Go by Passenger, number four, Say Something by Christina Aguilera, number three, Talk Dirty by Jason Derulo, number two, Happy by Pharrell Williams, and coming in at number one, Dark Horse by Katy Perry. The top five movies of this week are Number five, Endless Love. Number four, Monuments Men. Number three, Robocop. Number two, About Last Night. And number one, we have the Lego Movie. On March 2nd, the 86th Annual Academy Awards are to be hosted by Ellen DeGeneres. The nominees for Best Picture include American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, Her, Nebraska, Philomena, 12 Years a Slave, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Nominees for Best Actor include Chiwetel Ejiofor, Christian Bale, Bruce Dern, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Matthew McConaughey. Nominees for Best Actress include Amy Adams, Kate Blanchett, Sandra Bullock, Judi Dench, and Meryl Streep. Currently, 12 Years a Slave is a favorite among the people for Best Picture, as is Matthew McConaughey for Best Actor and Kate Blanchett for Best Actress. Tune in March 2nd on ABC to find out the results. And now let's go to Critics' Corner. This is Critics' Corner with Kevin. And I'm Jordan. We saw The Monuments Men, directed by George Clooney. How'd you like it? Um, I didn't like it too much. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of World War II movies to begin with, so that I kind of came into the film with a bias. But the 
you know, it had a killer cast, or at least that's what I thought it did. You know, it had George Clooney in it. It was directed by George Clooney as well, uh, along with John Goodman, Matt Damon, Bill Murray. You know, there was a lot of really good actors, but I just don't think that they shined very well in this movie. I thought that uh, the idea was there. It was a good, uh, good idea, but it was just poorly executed. And uh, it was just slow paced and boring. And I just really did not find myself interested in it at all. What'd you rate it? Um, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It wasn't the worst thing that I've ever sat through, but at the same time, it runs at about two hours, and it feels, it, it felt like more than two hours to me. I didn't feel very engrossed in the film. Um, I thought that they portrayed the um, robbery of artwork by the Nazis in World War II very well, but I don't think that they focused enough about uh, on the people that actually protected and saved the artwork. Um, which is what the movie was supposed to be about in the first place. So uh, what would you rate it, Kevin? I'd give it a 2 out of 5 just because I really just did not like it at all. Like the, uh, It was just too slow, too boring, and uh, they just did not execute it well. This is Critic Corner. Now back to the studio. And now let's go to Weekly Preview. Hi, welcome to Weekly Preview. I'm Michaela. And I'm Stephanie. On Tuesday, February 25th, come out and support the girls varsity basketball team as they go against Milburn at home at 7 p.m. Come to theaters this week include Nonstop, starring Liam Nielsen, Repetent, starring Forrest Whitaker, and Hairbrain, starring Alex Wolf, all to be released on February 28th. The Jazz Festival will be held on Friday, February 28th in the SPFHS Auditorium. And now let's go to sports with Jody. Thanks, Jasmine. On Monday, February 17th, the ice hockey team suffered a tough loss against ALJ High School in Clark. The boys lost 4-0. Unfortunately, the game was the Raiders' final one of the season. With most winter sports seasons coming to a close, spring tryouts are beginning. Lacrosse tryouts are on March 7th, as well as spring track and baseball. Tennis begins on March 10th. Come out and try a new sport. That wraps up for sports. Now back to Bianca and Jasmine. And now let's go to Car of the Week. What kind of car is this? It's a 2013 Cadillac SRX. And what do you like about this car? I like the way it looks, especially with the tinted windows. It makes this car look sharp. And how big are your rims? They're 18s. 18s? And this nice roomy trunk. So it's nice with this little pull out so none of his stuff gets touched. What do you have here? We got fully touch screen, everything from controlling the climate in the car, the audio, calling, even navigation in here. We got this nice opening compartment here. We got manual, and we even have movable pedals. Wow. This is Car of the Week. Tune in next time. And now let's go to this week's weather with Stormy Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stormy Stephanie, and this week's weather will be, on Monday will be sunny, on Wednesday will be sunny, and Thursday will be sunny. And there's a possibility of snow shower on Tuesday, and it will be cloudy on Friday. And the temperature will be in the 30s. Now back to the studio. That wraps it up for this week's Raider News Update. Be sure to tune in next week for period 7 8's edition.